Yo, what's up, y'all? Today I'm gonna share with you what I do for a living. So, if you're new to my channel, you might have caught the title, What is Kumon? And I'll get to that. And if you're familiar with my channel, you wonder how I make my living because I definitely can't make a living off YouTube right now. So, Kumon is an international franchise that originated in Japan. It's an educational franchise. It's not really tutoring. I think of it more as a fundamental teaching program. So they teach you the fundamentals of mostly mathematics. I don't really like it's a reading program. They call it reading. It should really be called their English program. But I'll get into that later. But a lot of people don't know what Kumon is. It's not a tutoring program. It's not, you know, one teacher sitting next to a student and teaching him or her every second and being all like, Oh, do this, do that, oh, you know, doting over him or her every second. That's not what Kumon is, man. It's not a private tutoring program. You know, in sports, like, for example, basketball, there are different fundamentals you need to learn, like dribbling and shooting. So you need to know those things before you play a game. And that's what Kumon teaches kids. They teach you the fundamentals of, I'll just stick with the math for now adding subtracting and how do they teach you that repetition you just do problem after problem and it the program emphasizes speed they want you to be fast because being fast and accurate getting all the questions right that is a sign of mastery we want you to master the fundamentals of math it's not about taking your time and really thinking about each problem what's six plus three Oh, six. Then you add three. One, two, three. No. It's more about memorization and about visual memory. You see six plus three, nine. If you've ever played Brain Age for the N Nintendo DS, it's kind of like that. Because there's a math program in there where you try to solve as many math problems as fast as possible. That's kind of like the philosophy behind Kumon. It makes sense because the creator of, well, not the creator, but the main inspiration of Brain Age is also another Japanese person, Ryuta Kawashima. Just like Kumon is from Japan as well. Well, with kids these days, I don't know if the method of repetition is necessarily going to work. A lot of kids have ADD and they can't really focus on a lot of things at once. And if you're into the extraterrestrial field, you'll have heard that kids born in 2000 and later are homo novus or homo noeticus. I don't know which one. So they learn differently. They learn in spirals. They don't really learn in a linear path. It's kind of weird. I've had trouble teaching kids because they don't think linearly. They think in a spiral. And I don't think in a spiral necessarily. But I can kind of feel how they think because I'm kind of empathic or highly sensitive. So I don't know how effective Kumon actually is right now for kids these days. It might be too antiquated a method. I'm just, I'm not making a judgment on how good Kumon is or not. I'm just trying to tell people how it is. So the fundamental tenet of Kumon is not tutoring. It's self-learning, independent learning. We're teaching kids how to fish. We're not giving kids the fish. So on a Friday, there was this angry parent that came in. His daughter was crying to him. And then he took his anger out on us. He was like, oh, you don't help us. You don't help the children. I looked in the, I looked in the window. You don't do anything. Oh. That's the point, bro. We're not giving kids fish. We're teaching them how to fish. It's kind of like video games. You have to be interactive. The gamer or the learner, the student has to do most of the work. You know, you buy a game, the game's not going to play itself for you. Most games. You have to actually play the game yourself. You have to put in the work. Same with learning. S students have to actually do the work. So it's not like, you know, watching a movie. You pay money and you could just sit there and watch the movie. You're entertained. You got your money's worth. Although there are levels of more engagement you could do with movies, you could really pay attention to the thing. But the point is you have to, the onus of your education is on mostly on the student. 
So you might think, what am I paying for then if the teacher is not doing most of the work? Well, that's the whole point of education. We're teaching kids how to fish, not giving kids the fish. That's how we believe the best way to educate children. And if you don't believe that, then go somewhere else. And don't take your anger out on us. If you think that shoving knowledge into a kid's brain is the way to go, then, you know, why don't you become a brain surgeon or something and invent a program and then put electrodes on your, bra your child's brain and shove the knowledge into his or her skull. Maybe that'll work. But as far as we all know as human beings, education is a two-way process. You have the student and you have the teacher and they both have their duty. And that's what we do at Kumon. We don't shove knowledge into kids' brains. We give kids the basic fundamentals of how to do a problem and the kid learns it and then it's up to the kid to practice, practice, practice. It's just like dribbling. You don't just dribble the ball once and then think you're good at dribbling. You have to keep doing it. You have to do it under pressure. You have to change direction. You have to do a spin move, crossover. It takes time and patience. A lot of I think a lot of the objections from parents has to do with money they don't feel like and patience so a lot of parents are poor and they don't have patience so when they don't have either they get frustrated they get mad they don't take their anger out on their kids so they take it out on us but a lot of parents probably do take it out on their kids at home when we're not looking so that sucks for the kid too and one thing that I'll say and Kumon might not like this opinion, but I'm going to say it anyway, is that if your kid is really dumb, then Kumon can't help him or her. It's just like economics. Economics make the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Same with Kumon. If your kid is already fundamentally smart in the brain, if and he or she does Kumon, he or she is going to get really smart. But if your kid is really dumb to begin with, there's not much we can do. I've seen it in practice. Of course, I think that just like Goku and Naruto, even the weakest people can become really strong through hard work. And not just regular hard work, extreme hard work. So if you're ready to take your kid's education into your own hands, and if your kid is ready to work really hard, then Kumon can still work for you, even if your kid is very dumb. But don't think that Kumon is a quick fix. It won't even, if your kid is really dumb, it won't even be a few months to see an improvement. Be a year, two years, three years. Watch what you feed your children. Watch what you let your children do, as far as, you know, TV, internet, video games. Enrich your child, not just in, not just shoving your kid onto an, an after-school program like Kumon and expect them to do all the work. You have to do a lot of work too. Make sure he or she does his or her Kumon homework. And don't just love your kids without disciplining them. It's like Caesar Milan, the dog whisperer, said. You have to give your dogs exercise, discipline, and then affection. It's the same thing with children. Get them to exercise, both physically and mentally. Discipline them, and then give them affection. A lot of parents just give them affection immediately, especially fathers who don't see their children often. They just come home from work, and then they just love their children without any kind of discipline. And that's not good for the children. What you're doing is for yourself. Skipping everything and going to affection, you just want to... That, that's an easy way. You're being a bad father, a bad parent. So that's what I do for a living. That's what Kumon is. If Kumon sounds like a good thing, then you should sign up. Well, thank you for joining me on another video. Have a great day.